Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays Nuclear Throne. Now, it's been a little while since I played Nuclear Throne, uh, but it's in Steam's early access, so I plan to go away for a while, come back when there's been updates, and there has been an update. This is, you know, there have been a number of updates. Usually there's an update a week, uh, as far as I am aware, at least. But this is the most obviously changed recent update, if that makes any sense, and the reason for that is, obviously, we have a new character over here. So this is Chicken. He is, uh, well, a new character that has the ability to put the world into slow motion to avoid bullets if he wants to. It's one of the cooler eff active effects in the game, I think. Also, he, have a, he has a passive that makes him hard to kill, and we're going to play a couple games of Sim Radio just to show him off. I don't necessarily want to spoil uh, what this active effect is, or sorry, this passive effect is, but you will, in all likelihood, see it for yourself, and probably see it for yourself at least a couple of times over the course of this uh, video. So what's new about Chicken? I'm, I'm not going to talk necessarily about what's new about all of the Nuclear Throne updates, uh, but what I will say is that Nuclear Throne is probably- oh no, it's so early? I really needed the experience there. Uh, but Nuclear Throne is like, the longer that I, I deal with games that are on Steam Early Access, the more I appreciate Nuclear Throne, which, you know, a lot of developers, they, I wouldn't necessarily say they use it as an excuse, and I don't want to necessarily harp on them for anything like this, but they, uh, you know, they, they go on Steam Early Access and they're like, it's a little broken now, it'll be better eventually. Nuclear Throne it comes out, and it, it just works, and is great. And they just focus on making it better with features uh, as time goes on. And, you know, there have been some complaints people had about things like screen shake and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, there's an options menu in the game now, and that allows you to kind of customize it uh, as your will is. But anyway, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. What should I take? Oh, more character portraits as well. Euphoria is slower enemy bullets. Plutonium hunger is really good, but I think Rhino skin for the extra HP is a little bit better, especially as a character that is more melee focused. What I meant to focus on at the start of this was not necessarily railing against Steam Early Access, but rather praising uh, Nuclear Throne for the fact that they continue uh, to update it with meaningful new content every week. Like Chicken, for example. Oh no, okay. Well, luckily we have a crossbow, so we should be able to get a kill here pretty easily. I'll show off his active effect, the uh, slowing of down of time, in just a second. Probably should have done it there, so maybe I could have avoided that bullet, but I wanted to make sure that I just got out of here as soon as possible. Um, in terms of, like, the starting conditions, Chicken is one of the more interesting characters in the game because he doesn't just start with a revolver like, uh, every other character, I think, does. I know YV at this point, the robot, starts with a, uh, a golden revolver, but as far as I know, apart from that, uh, everybody else has the, the revolver as the kind of their starting weapon. Whereas, we have the katana as Chicken, which is actually really nice because it's a, a weapon that does an awful lot of damage. So, we have bolt and arrow, homing bolts, uh, boiling veins. Oh, so this must be, um, the replacement for fire eater. We also have extra feet for more speed and euphoria for slower enemy bullets. I think I'm going to take euphoria and the reason for that is because we are going to be um, maybe not 100% melee, but melee focused. That was bad damage to take. Um, slower enemy bullets means that I'll have more of an opportunity to hit those back, hopefully. So, this is maybe a, an excellent example of how uh, the slow down or the slow-mo effect can be used. So we're playing as Chicken. I hold the right mouse button. We enter kind of like this focus mode. And uh, we, do, we still move at exactly the same pace. So this is not like a way to, you know, like the Matrix things and uh, slow down time while we can still move at full speed because that would obviously probably be overpowered if I had to guess. However, this does give us the opportunity when there's like rats rushing at us. We can at least like pause time or slow it down greatly and then be like, okay, where should we go as a result? I really think, you know, I've played a couple of games with chicken so far. I, I prefer the crossbow to the splinter gun, uh, like, very much so, but, uh, uh, a couple of games with chicken so far. He's really, I don't know if he's one of my favorite characters in the game from, like, a can I beat the game as this guy standpoint, but he's definitely one of the ones that gives you kind of, like, the most unique start. The other thing I should, oh, there's a mimic! I didn't know there were mimics in the game. Holy shit, that scares me to no end. Uh, so less enemy HP, some shots regenerate ammo, or laser weapons deal more damage. Mm, or Gamma Guts, but I'm gonna go with uh, Scarier Face, less enemy HP. So this is really nice, like, one of the complaints that, you know, you could maybe offer uh, towards uh, Nuclear Throne, and I don't necessarily agree with this. Oh, well, you can see Hard to Kill now. Basically, uh, my head has fallen off of my body. Oh, I just did just die there. But, you know, the, the expression, run with a chicken with your head cut off, right? Or running around like a chicken with your head cut off? That's what we can do when we play as chicken. We can run around with our head off. And I've never actually managed to, like, pick it up, because I think that might be the uh, what the game's basically asking you to do, is saying, like, okay, well, once your head falls off, if you kill the enemies, you can go pick it up. And maybe I'm just talking out of my ass here, but uh, usually I die soon after anyway, and it's always been in that wasteland. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully I am able to uh, at least experience that a little bit more closely here. In fact, why don't we just try to get ourselves killed, just so I can maybe get a, a greater feel for this. It, it's, you know, breaking my heart to have to do this to myself, but uh, I think it's a smart idea nonetheless. Come on! Shoot! Oh my god. I never realized how bad these guys are. There we go. I'm gonna have to walk into the bullets myself. 
Okay, so you're gonna come and shoot me, presumably, at some point. Okay, I'm just gonna get these bullets first, I guess, because you... Okay, you're your own worst enemy here, my friend. I can't even get in range of the bullets that you're actually shooting at me. I'll stand still, you figure it out. Okay, we got ourselves killed. Now, what can we do here? Oh, we we lose blood in the meantime. Can I? Oh, okay. Maybe we do just die soon after that. But maybe if we like go down to the next level or something soon after we get to come back to life. I don't know. We'll see. In any case, let's just try to have a good run here. Uh, yeah, what I was gonna say, the two things I was gonna say actually, is that uh, in Nuclear Throne there is now also that was a good time to use slow mo, but unfortunately I didn't think about it. Um, there is a, a new area that comes after the wasteland. Now I haven't actually seen it with my own two eyes. Uh, oh, we missed out on so much experience. I'm really rusty. I've got to get back into it. Uh, so it's not as easy to lap, I guess, as it used to be. But uh, we'll see if we can at least see that new area. And additionally, the other thing I was going to say, the tangent I was going to go on is, you, you know, the, the one complaint I guess you could have about the amount of different characters and the variety of characters in Nuclear Throne is that they all start with kind of like the same conditions, right? As mentioned, with the revolver, except in the case of... Um, we're going to stick with the katana as opposed to going with the sledgehammer. But... Um, in the case of chicken, you obviously start with something different, but it's nice to have some variety now that there's a different starting conditions as opposed to just kind of like you eventually branch out. This time you actually start branched out. So I really like this character portrait here, but I'm going to assume that Rabbit's Paw is still exceptionally powerful, and we'll take that as our primary upgrade so we can hopefully get as many med kits as we could possibly want. Good time for slow-mo. Now, for the most part, I, I kind of don't really respect slow-motion upgrades. Or uh, slow motion abilities, I should say, because to some extent, I always feel like it's like, well, just have your brain, like, work faster, right? Like, if your brain works faster, then you don't need slow-mo. As long as, like, the ratio of your speed to the enemy speed is the same, it kind of feels like a wasted, uh, oh, that was really dumb. There's a good situation for me to use it, but uh, I'm actually learning as I play a little bit more here that it's actually surprisingly, well, maybe not surprisingly, but it's, it's more useful than I originally thought. Uh, because it does give you more time to kind of process the, the bullet hell that's going on. Like, think of how much easier a game like uh, Ikaruga or something like that would be if it was moving at 50% speed. That's basically what we've got going on here. I've got to use it more often. Throne Butt upgrades our special ability, but this is new. Corpses fly and hit harder. As much as I would like to get Throne Butt... Well, let's get Throne Butt because it will highlight our... Um, it will highlight our special ability here, which could be fun. Ooh, be careful. Uh, but I wanted to get the, the impact wrist so we could actually see if maybe, like, because when you hit enemies with, um, with a melee attack, they fly around and they do do, do damage to the other corpses that they hit. Or, or soon to be corpses that they hit, at least. Uh, but I, well, hopefully we'll get an opportunity to check that out. Maybe even with our next upgrade. We should level up on this floor. Probably. We don't have plutonium hunger, but if I get all the experience, I wouldn't be surprised if I leveled up on this floor, at least. Okay, so let's see what our throne butt ability does now. I think it just slows it down even more, and of course immediately, like, well, in the slow, I still took damage. You may actually die here. I hope not. Well, we'll get hard to kill, and if I can actually figure out how to use hard to kill, then we can make something better happen, maybe. One thing I like about uh, melee, and I hope they never change it, is you can melee people, like, through and around walls. Which, again, might seem like uh, it's kind of unfair, but I think it's actually... It, it might not make sense, but it is one of those things that makes uh, melee actually viable as someone who's not fantastic at the game. It at least gives me the opportunity to, uh, to have a better chance of survival when I can just kind of sneak around corners like I'm in a horror movie and then bash them over the face. There's a med kit over there. So I'm using the Assault Slugger because I, I want to make sure that I have a 100% chance to get this med kit. Alright, so we're, we're surviving again. Oh, there's another kind of uh, cabal of rats in here. That could be the, next, the title of the next Amnesia game. Amnesia Cabal of Rats, anyway. Extra speed, boiling veins, which is the new fire eater, which causes us to not take damage or take less damage from fire and explosions. I'm gonna take that because there's obviously uh, lots of fire and explosions that take place on this level. Always tempted to say floor. But this is not the binding advisor. Uh, assault slugger was an interesting choice. I thought about uh, just sticking with the regular slugger, and that's uh, obviously 100% uh, to do with ammo concerns. But I was also thinking, like, if I'm primarily, I gotta use slow mode more. If I'm primarily going to be using uh, my katana, which really does seem, I don't know if this can actually be dropped, by the way, this might be unique to chicken, um, but it does seem like one of the more unique, uh, and, and good melee weapons in the game. Okay, get a med kit. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. So if you get, if you get your head knocked off, then you can just pick up a med kit and be good to go. That is actually really, really useful. Uh, it, it, well, in that situation, obviously, it made all the difference. Now I need to get a med kit somewhere. Uh, you know what? I bet this would also make it so uh, chicken is much better with bloodlust because 
as a result of that, you should be able to um, get Bloodlust and maybe get a Lifesteal. So let's do at least one more run of Chicken here. I feel like I'm starting to get uh, acclimated with the, with the tools I need to succeed. That wall is just too thick. I'm oh, God! I clicked out of the active window and caused some problems there. That's okay. Two damage, no big deal. Uh, now, what do I need to change about the way that I ran uh, the last game in order to have more success here? Because the last run was okay, but it certainly could have been better. This is a good time for slow-mo, if I could actually use it properly. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? Let's just clear out these enemies first, because these are being kind of nightmarish right now. Oh. Remember, the, the green bullets, they can be hit with the melee weapon, but they aren't killed. As a result of that, um, at least we got a med kit there. That was a pretty bad floor. But what I was going to say is we need to get more experience and not let experience just pass me by. I'm not sure if I succeeded on that floor, though. Uh, we do have a weapon. That might be new in an update. I, don't, I didn't think weapons could spawn from uh, pits like that. Oh, my God. I'm just, like, contemplating my weapons like I'm playing The Witcher or something. Like, oh, is it, should I get the machine gun or the shotgun? Well, the shotgun is plus two to Duke nukem -ness. Like, just pick up the weapon and move onward. It's not a big concern. Uh, okay, let's check out this side of the map just in case there's something of value over here. I have a, I'm not comfortable with the amount of health I have. Quite frankly, I'm mad because I'm bad right now, but... Oh, I clicked out of the window again. There we go. Um, but on the bright side, I do find myself in a position where I have two of my favorite weapons. The katana is quickly becoming uh, my favorite melee weapon as a result of its range and damage and the fact that you are guaranteed to get it when you play as chicken, of course. And uh, then the machine gun is just like, it's the gentleman's choice for a weapon because, you know, it, it's if you're patient, it's got good, uh, decent accuracy, uh, decent ammo conservation, and uh, it, it does enough damage to the enemies uh, to, to make it very viable, I think. Now, please tell me there's more experience down. Oh, this is a nasty area. Also, the other reason that the machine gun is pretty cool is, uh, as you can see, if you go full auto, you can cause some major problems. Okay, now, we did level up here. I did get hit, and I'm going to die unless I get the med kit. Okay, so that was a situation where life worked out very well for us. Long arms seems like a smart decision here to give us extra melee range. Now, we definitely are going to need... Oh, and Rhino Skin. We leveled up twice. I didn't even look at the second upgrades, but I got lucky to the one I was already clicking on because it was the, the, the one that I had taken previous to it immediately prior to that um, was probably the best, or at least one of the best. We'll take the shotgun, I guess. Um, I, as much as I love the machine gun, I think shotgun's viable as well. Uh, both of those, um, among... Really? I didn't kill him? Uh, among my favorite weapons in the game. That's a new uh, environmental thing there, like that, that skull there. Can you break it? Uh, yes, he can break it. Okay. I also think the shotgun's a little bit better against uh, big dogs because it does more damage, I think. I think it was a very smart decision to take uh, more melee range. I do... Oh, God, get a med kit, you scum! We'll do one more here for sure. That was, that was pretty bad, actually. All right, so let's take chicken again. I'm not thrilled with my play right now, but uh, sure. One more run with chicken, and then we may do a second video as well, but this is, a, as much of anything, this is a character spotlight. Uh, by the way, if you're uh, watching this and you own Nuclear Throne, this update should be live for you uh, roughly around the same, the same time this video goes live. If not, give it an hour or so. This, oh my god. Just kill me. We're going to do this again. Just, just kill me, seriously. I'm very disappointed in myself. Um, it's cool that you get like a, a period of redemption after you die. I am super rusty, though. Ooh, careful. Um, yeah, this is this is a beta version of the game, and it should go live uh, momentarily from the time this video is live. If you don't own Nuclear Throne, I would encourage you to pick it up. It's, like, early access done right. For all of the negative examples of, of early access on Steam, and I think, to some extent, those, those examples are justified, but to some extent, it also feels a little bit blown out of proportion. I don't think early access is bad. I think, like, developers with good games take advantage of early access in a good way, if that makes sense, and maybe if games are not so good, then it just colors early access when it should be more of a... Yeah, let's get Bloodlust here, because I think this is... It gives us an extra chance for redemption by the lifesteal after our head falls off. But anyway, um, I think like if a bad game comes out on early access, people are like, oh, Steam early access, it's busted, it's busted. But that may also just be the case with developers, like, that, that game might never be good, whether it comes out on early access or uh, if it comes out on, uh, you know, Steam proper. Anyway, disregard my accidental rant on Steam Early Access here. Um, yeah, you, you can pick it up on Steam. I don't know if it's got on sale for the Steam sale because I already own it, so why would I be looking into sales for games I already own? That's just crazy town. Shotgun. Now we'll stick with machine gun. I'm going to, you know, 
I'm flopping back and forth here whether I want the shotgun or the machine gun every single run. But machine gun I think is better because we'll stay at range. If we're close enough to make good use of the shotgun, then we will um, just use our katana instead. Anyway, long story short, you can pick it up on Steam. It's 15 bucks. I would recommend it if you are a fan of roguelikes like this. If for some reason you didn't see me play it earlier, hopefully this is a nice introduction uh, for it that you didn't have prior to this. Come on! Uh, I thought for sure we'd level up there. Well, on the bright side, we may level up twice here because obviously this will be the level that the boss is on. Uh, now we can use our katana when we're up close, and then we can use our machine gun to generate a little distance if we'd like to stay away from the enemies, as we do right now. And then when Big Dog shoots at me, this is... Whoa! Okay, I, I couldn't get out of the way. And that's an example of why sometimes I think that slow-mo power-ups are a little overrated, because that time I was like, I went into slow-mo, but I still just didn't have the... The, the speed necessary to get out of the to get, to get out of harm's way if that makes sense. But anyway, big dog should be dead pretty soon. Should probably just tap a uh, burst fire instead of uh, just going full auto because I think I uh, ended up screwing myself a little bit as a result. Okay, I am almost dead. Probably shouldn't have picked up that med kit just in case I could have gotten. Um, oh well, never mind. We're back up here a little bit, which is good news. Uh, Bloodlust is helping me out. Crossbow? Yeah, I think crossbow probably does beat machine gun, because I am... The, the problem with crossbow is obviously ammo. Okay, I went up here just to see if there's extra experience. Uh, the problem with the crossbow is obviously ammo, but uh, if I am able to just use my katana for like 99% of things, I just wanted to shoot my crossbow there to make sure I got the experience, just in case we could... Uh, Alright, we got close to getting two levels anyway. Um, hmm... I guess we'll go Boiling Veins here. We're going to need to get Boiling Veins at some point. Might as well pick it up now. It's going to be hard to not, uh, to get used to not saying Fire Eater, but anyway. Um, yeah, long story short, you know, that rant that I started five minutes ago. You can pick up Nuclear Throne on Steam. It's 15 bucks, and I would recommend it if you're a fan of roguelites like this. If somehow you did not see me play it earlier, then um, hopefully this is a, a nice reintroduction to it. It's, it's shaping up nicely. Every update, uh, you know, I, I don't necessarily play every update, but I look at the feature list and, uh, you know, what's changed. And I'm like, yeah, that, that was something that basically objectively makes Nuclear Throne better. When they add, oh, that was a mimic. Uh, when they add things that are like, um, well, they add mimics, for example. I'm like, yeah, that's that's cruel and unusual punishment. I like it. That's exactly the, that's the, the MO that this game carries a lot of the time. Or when, um, you know, they're like, hey, we um, added the option to lower the screen shake if you're interested. I'm like, you know what? Screen shake in the, screen, bleh, screen shake in the game doesn't bother me, but uh, I know it bothers a lot of other people, so I'm glad that you added that. They're, they're taking a very nice approach to this. I know it seems like I'm sucking up. I am sucking up. I really wanted to take that med kit. I was just leaving it just in case. Uh, we're going to take a uh, rabbit's paw here. I was just leaving the, med, the major med kit just in case I ended up needing it uh, if I died. So it turns out that was a dumb decision. What was I thinking? Okay, um, we, we've got issues here. We're just going to stay hidden as long as we possibly can. And there we go. Good crossbow shot. The laser sight on the crossbow is like absolutely... Ooh. Oh my god, that was a... Was that a mimic or something? That was very strange. I think I died and came back to life over the process of that whole ordeal there. Um, this is... This is crazy town. Uh, like, you know, butterfly. Crazy town. You know what I'm talking about. The, the laser sight is like... It's not merely aesthetic. It makes a huge difference in your aim. Anyway, let's move over here, and we actually seem to be alive. Could have easily taken more damage than I would have liked there. Can we hit Explosion Man? We can. And then fit through here, and be afraid! Okay, what I really like about the Katana, it seems to have the melee range necessary to really F with those uh, otherwise like resting melee dudes who can kill you in basically one hit. Real annoying, and real easy to take out with the Katana, as long as you're paying attention. Bazooka! Scary, not interested. I'm glad that we're having our best run with our last run here. It's always nice when that happens. You can end on a positive note, even if it's not the most positive note. Oh, come on. I missed with like four crossbow bolts here. There we go. I was thinking what I could do, I guess, is just like uh, bounce those bolts back. Can we level up twice here? At least once. Back up to full health. Uh, I may lose that pretty soon, but um, we'll see. This guy is probably the last person alive. All right, good news. At least we got further than we've gotten before in this video. And Euphoria, Eagle Eyes. Okay, let's take Impact Wrist because uh, this is a new one. And enemies, uh, corpses now fly further and do more damage. So this might make it possible for me to just like swing my katana around. Oh my god, we actually did just kill. Uh, we killed one of the aliens, or not aliens? Sorry, I thought we were playing XCOM here for a second. Uh, we killed one of the uh, one of the birds just by hitting another dead bird into it. That is awesome. 
Way more useful than the dead bird in the Binding of Isaac, anyway. Oh, I did not notice that there was a, uh, a turret down here. This is a little scary. We actually got Bloodlust to work for us there. I'm not in the range of the fire. It's almost like a little miniature melting ability, if that makes sense. I, I'm so guilty of barely using the, the slow-mo, but anyway. Um, it's like a miniature melting ability. We don't make corpses explode, but we do make it so corpses are actually, like, offensively useful, which is... Uh, okay, is that Big Dog? If not Big Dog, then what the fuck is that? This is the first- Oh god! The, the freaking portals to hell have opened and started belching uh, police officers in here. What the fuck? Okay. Um, I'm concerned about these cross-dimensional grenades that have gone off multiple times here, uh, but the... The Dimension Police appear to have largely vacated. That's good news. I guess I wasn't supposed to hit that man. My apologies. And amazingly, we're actually still kind of thriving in spite of that. I got a very lucky man, what can I say? Alright, we're almost done with this floor. That's a mimic. I saw it use its teeth to bitey bitey. Get out of here. And he dropped two little chests. Hopefully those can't be mimics. Grenade launcher. Not necessary, thank you. Who is still... Oh, did I just see some birds at the bottom? I saw one bird at the bottom. Okay. Bird at the bottom. Also, like, the worst flavor of yogurt. But anyway. Uh, didn't get hit there, and you should be dead. And we're also going to the next floor. That portal opened up in a weird spot, but that's okay. We didn't level up. That's what sucks. The IDPD is looking for you. You're headed up by Miss... Oh, <laughs> no. Minus three HP. Where, where's my body? I'm still taking shots here, but I think like my body's off the screen. Okay, I died. That was weird though, but anyway, that, that was a lot of fun regardless. This is the newest update to Nuclear Throne. Check out the video description for a link to pick it up on Steam. Chicken's a fun character. Adds a, a whole new kind of... What I, what I really like about the like hard-to-kill ability where you stay alive for a little while longer is that it changes the metagame a little bit for that character. So things like Bloodlust are a little bit more valuable. Rabbit's Paw is obviously still incredibly valuable, but if you get a medkit, like, your ability to get, like, lifesteal or a med kit is extremely important now relative to, to other things. Gives you an extra chance at life. But in any case, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to check out the game on Steam. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more Nuclear Throne. And like the video if you enjoyed it, which I assume you did if you made it this far. Again, thanks for watching. Check on Steam for the new uh, build of Nuclear Throne. And I will see you next time.